Hafadei Toldo Samzu. Greetings, everyone. Sainama Maasi, thank you to the National Book Foundation for uh, such an honor. And Sainama Maasi to all my fellow finalists for your inspiring readings tonight. I want to dedicate my reading uh, to two people in the audience. Uh, one is my partner, Olivia, for uh, supporting my work. And the other is uh, to my mom uh, for instilling a love of, of reading and writing uh, from a young age. So I love you both so much. Thank you for, for coming on this journey with me tonight. Uh, so my book uh, takes place uh, on the island of Guam, which is uh, my homeland. And it's a very small island and often does not appear on, on most maps. Uh, this poem I'm going to share is called Off Island Chamorros. Uh, Chamorros is the name of my people, and off-island Chamorros is, is how we refer to those who leave. Off-island Chamorros. My family migrated from Guam to California when I was 15 years old. During the first day at my new high school, the homeroom teacher asked where I was from. The Mariana Islands, I answered. He replied, I've never heard of that place. Prove it exists. Yet when I stepped in front of the world map on the wall, it transformed into a mirror. The Pacific Ocean, like my body, was split in two and flayed to the margins. I found Australia, then the Philippines, then Japan. I pointed to an empty space between them and said, I'm from this invisible archipelago. My classmates laughed. And even though I descend from oceanic navigators, I felt so lost shipwrecked on the coast of a strange continent. Are you a citizen, he probed. Yes, my island Guam is a US territory. We attend American schools, eat American food, listen to American music, watch American movies, play American sports, learn American history, dream American dreams, and die in American wars. You speak English well, he proclaimed, with almost no accent. And isn't that what it means to be a diasporic Chamorro, to feel foreign in a domestic sense? Over the last 50 years, my people have migrated to escape the violent memories of war, to seek jobs, schools, hospitals, adventure, and love. But most of all, we've migrated for military service, deployed and stationed to bases around the world. According to the 2010 census, 44,000 Chamorros live in California, 15,000 in Washington, 10,000 in Texas, 7,000 in Hawaii, and 70,000 more in every other state. We are the most geographically dispersed Pacific Islander population within the U.S., and off-island Chamorros now outnumber our on-island kin with generations having been born away from our ancestral homelands, including my daughters. Some of us will be able to return home for holidays, weddings, and funerals. Others won't be able to afford the expensive plane ticket to the Western Pacific. Years and even decades might pass between trips and each visit will feel too short. We'll lose contact with family and friends and the island will continue to change until it becomes unfamiliar to us. And isn't that too, what it means to be a diasporic Chamorro, to feel foreign in our own homeland. After 25 years away, there are still times I feel adrift without itinerary or destination. When I wonder, what if my family stayed? What if I return? When the undertow of these questions begin pulling me out to sea, remember, migration flows through our blood like the aerial roots of the banyan tree. Remember, our ancestors taught us how to carry our culture in the canoes of our bodies. Remember, our people, scattered like stars, form new constellations when we gather. Remember, home is not simply a house, village, or island. Home is an archipelago of belonging. Thank you.